to the rundown. Well, as we just heard from Yoni Fiegel, the first intifada came as a complete surprise to Israel's security establishment, which scrambled to find new ways of contending with a Palestinian mass uprising that none of them had expected. I-24 News spoke with a few of the top Israeli commanders who were given the near impossible mission of quelling a popular uprising. The first intifada was a surprise to all intelligence services. It was a kind of a surprise. The intifada was not created by a organization like this. It was not created by the government. The intifada, and you have to understand it well, זה בא מהרחוב הפלסטיני, הוא בא מלמטה. New generation uh, was in a way educated by a new regime, by a uh, occupier. Israel looked like haunted house because of the terror. And this terror came from the perception of Yasser Arafat that he could have on one hand peace, like peace, and the other hand terror that it means murders and violence always against or murder of civilians. When you start to deal with the people in the streets, women, children, children, what do you do? Then we started to open up the things that today are very different from them. How do they do it? It's not like a gummy, it's not like a gummy. It's not like a gummy, it's not like a gummy. It's not like a gummy, it's not like a gummy. Uh, the defense minister at that time, Yitzhak Rabin, the late Yitzhak Rabin, thought that we have to go with a um, stronger and aggressive force. We have understood quite uh, rapidly that that's not the way. We have to let it, uh, um, the territories, the public have to adjust it and the army has to adjust it and it took something like three or three and a half years. We didn't know how long it was. People are real. You can't do that. You have to keep them and listen to them properly and understand where the interests of the United States are in the place. The work of uh, collaborators and uh, those who are uh, what we are calling in our professional uh, language sources is always extremely important. Of course, there were many, many new difficulties and many problems. Mainly, we're trying to recruit uh, sources from the Hamas. אבל הם מאוד מבינים את עוצמתה של מדינת ישראל. ותמיד אמרתי להם, זה לא ילך בכוח, אתם טועים בזה, והטרור עושה לכם נזק עצום. It came to the end when uh, uh, the territory, I say the ground, came to a uh, um, understanding that Israel is not going to leave the territories. that Israel is facing, at that time, there were hopes that we are going to a kind of a settlement. It was the eve of the Oslo Accords. The lesson is, from my point of view, never have cohabitation, like you say in French, or coexistence between terror and peace. They cannot live together. משל הצדדים יש בני אדם. צריך את זה תמיד לזכור. משל הצדדים בסוף בסוף יש בני אדם.